everyone, this is Gina Crochet Gal. I'm going to switch my glasses. I forgot to change them because I can't see. Okay, sorry about that. This is Gina Crochet Gal, and I have a few projects to share. And I also have some books that I'd like to share that I got from Hobby Lobby a few days ago. There was a sale on all of their books. And let's see, they were regular $8.99, and I got a few of them for only $2.14. And this is just a few days ago, so I'm sure the sale is still on. Okay, but first, I'm going to show a few projects that I've been working on. Still, I'm going through all my small little um, balls of yarn. Um, I have tons of scraps, so... This is the next project that I'm working on that I hope gets rid of a lot of them because I'm going to keep going continuously with this. This is a corner to quarter blanket. And again, I'm getting all my little scraps together. And I am making this. So it started off with this tiny little ball I have. And, and then I'm just, you know, I'm putting all the little balls in a bag. And then I'm just gradually taking them out, just picking whatever color, not even looking at the ball. Just whatever comes out is the next one that I attach. So that's how much I have so far. And I plan on just keep going, going one way until I get rid of all my little scrap balls. Okay, let's see. The next one, this is a finish actually. And I showed this in my video last time. This is a poncho that I worked on. Now this is worked in the one that you make a long rectangle and then you attach the bottoms. Here is what it looks like. This will probably fit my daughter who's 10 years old. But this is basically what it looks like. It has a long front. There's your V in the front and this is what it looks like in the back. Hopefully I have a good shot of it. But yeah, here's the rectangle and this is the section that is attached, this section here. Eh, it was different. I prefer to make a different type, but you know, it's good just to have it on in the evenings if she's cold watching TV and just to wrap herself in something like this. And that used basically almost a complete um, skein of, what is it, the, the large ones? I forgot what they called, the big giant um, skeins of yarn. It used one whole one. So that was that. And the next one, I'm, I just started it yesterday. And this is using the Mainstay Basic Yarn Pink. And I'm going to make the, um, the little bear to match the swaddle that I showed in the last video. And here are the beginnings of that. Here's the body part, the head. And I'm just now working on the body. And I did, I like to do the body parts first because they work quickly. Oops. Here are the two little ears. The two arms. This is all what it looks like before we attach it. Two little arms. The legs. Right here are the little legs. Tangled. <laughs> little legs and the muzzle. So that's what all the pieces look like before it's sewn together. So basically I'm just going to finish the bottom, stuff it, then what I do next is I put the muzzle on and that's where I place when I place the eyes and then I'll go ahead and stuff it and then sew all the body parts together. So that is it. So I have pretty much three works in progress right now for crocheting. And yeah, that's it. And then that one finished. I did finish that one. Okay, now one of the three that... I'll, I'll show you this one first. This is because I'm working on these. This one's called Boho Chic Crochet Ponchos. And this was regular $9.99 at Hobby Lobby. And I got it for $2.38. And I saw it and I thought, you know, this is a good one to start because I want to make ponchos. I never really have made a poncho. Um, but it has lots of designs in it that I think I can do. Mm 
Hold on one second. Sorry, my son's calling me. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see here. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is this first one, and then I'll go through the pages on that. The next one's called Baby Blankets and Toys. This was $8.99. I got this for $2.14. The next one's called Caring Crochet. This one was also $8.99, and I got this one for $2.14. So lots of good projects on this one. So I'll come back in a minute, and I'll go through all the pages with you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and continue looking through the magazine. Sorry about that little break. I had to go pick up my son from his friend's house. You know, the first one here that they have shown here, it's called Plush Tro uh, Topper. And this is the one that I just did <coughs> with the red heart. It was a super saver yarn. And that's this style right here. It's that rectangular shape. That's a good idea. What they did is they put tassels on the end here. See that one? Let's see. So that's kind of cool. I, maybe I'll do that. I have a little ball of leftover yarn, and here's what the back looks like. Actually, this is what my front looks like. Cute. This one's called Lacy. That looks like one I'll be able to do. I like that it's an open, <clears throat> an open stitch. Cute, like that. So yeah. There's lots of different, oh that looks cute, Timeless Granny this one's called. Super cute, ooh this looks fun. This is called Silk and Stripes, really cute. So again I found this. Um, book um, crochet ponchos <clears throat> it's called this one here is called offset granny it's another cute one yeah and this is what the diagram looks like it looks pretty cool and all you do is attach your squares together as such. That uh, looks relatively easy to do, <clears throat> and so on. Get a little bit more complex as the book continues. And then it ends off with this one that's in the front of the magazine. Well, it looks pretty easy as well. Squares it looks like, and then bottomed off with the little pom-poms. So yeah, I'm going to try some of those. The next one I got <clears throat> called Baby Blankets and Toys. This is really cute because I do make the Amigurumi um, animals. So instead of going through the book, I'm just going to show you the back and the different designs that they have. This one here is a little piggy with a blue uh, and pink and green little blanket. Down here looks like a gray cat. Cute. On this side is a dog. And then we have... What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Just a little... Cute little stuffed animal. So that's that book. And then I also got this one because... <clears throat> I haven't yet learned to do... Um, booties. I crocheted socks... I just can't seem to be able to get that concept of the socks. Um, I haven't loomed them yet because there's some loom knitting patterns that I have for socks. I just haven't done it. I guess it's kind of um, intimidating to me to do the heel. I watch videos after video and I still haven't done it. But this one, I think I'm going to try. It has several different um, projects in this one. You've got a hat here. You've got an afghan. You've got some little booties here. And down here as well. 
So I'm going to try those and see. So I think this is going to keep me busy for quite some time. Well, that's about all I have to share today. Again, these are a book from Leisure Arts, and these two are from Annie's Crochet on sale at Hobby Lobby. These two were $2.14, which is a great price, and $2.38 for this one. <clears throat> okay, well, that's it. Um, i just like to take this time also to thank you to all my new subscribers. I wasn't aware of all that new uh, YouTube stuff that's going on in regards to the number of subscribers and watch time as far as hours for the year. It's unfortunate because, you know, it does take its effect on the smaller channels, but oh well, what can you do? <laughs> well, anyways, thank you for subscribing, and I do want to let you know that I do plan on doing another stitchy video very soon. I have a little bit of progress with that, and we'll have a great day. Happy crochet and craft day. Talk to you again. Bye.